According to the UNA's GAP report, out of a global 35 million persons living with HIV, Africa has 24.7 million, in addition to 2.1 million new infections annually. In Ghana, HIV prevalence now stands at 1.3%, with a 50% reduction in infections among new babies. However, according to the UNAIDS country director, Jamey Haile, the impact of Ghana's achievement will be futile if Africa and the world lags behind in the total elimination of HIV. The impact of this national achievement will, however, be meaningless if the continent and indeed the world is not on track to attain similar milestones. This is because HIV does not respect borders and a world free of the epidemic <clears throat> is what we aim to achieve. Our ultimate goal, therefore, is not to attain the total uh, elimination of HIV within Ghana alone, but also within the African continent. A strategic way to achieve this is to, through the global campaign which targets the youth who are most vulnerable to HIV infection. Statistics indicate that the youth are the most at risk of being infected because of their active sexual life. As a result, UNAIDS is targeting the youth with a Protect the Go campaign, which advocates the need for people to protect themselves from HIV infection. The Minister for Youth and Sports, Mahama Ayariga, pledged support for the initiative and urged that the advertisement of the HIV campaign is featured during the AFCON season, which will attract the youth the most. Our youth in particular do not delude themselves into thinking that the epidemic has left because of the present registered low prevalence. It is still very much with us and we still have to continue to protect ourselves by making sure that we comply with the principles of using condom, of um, going to test to be sure of our own status and of maintaining uh, and being faithful to our partners. The Protect the Go HIV campaign focuses on the use of condoms, knowing one's HIV status and reduce sex partners. With this commitment, the UNAs anticipate an end to HIV infection by 2030. Priscilla Selinam Sugar reporting for Vars at One News, Accra.